Hi everybody. This video is related to topic 3 and 4 of the ACT 3110. I will divide the, the lecture on this uh, slide into two uh, two 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 lectures or two parts okay this topic is related to adjustments and preparation of financial statement this topic will explain the step 5 to step 8 of the accounting cycle step 5 of the accounting cycle is the adjusting entries step 6 is the preparing adjusted trial balance step 7 is preparation of financial statement and step 8 in the accounting cycle is uh, doing the closing entries okay before you can do the step 5 uh, of the accounting cycle you have to know several things okay the first is you have to know about pre uh, periodic reporting uh, periodic reporting is related to time period assumption or principle that we have discussed in topic one uh, the the time period assumption or prin principle says when you do the accounting uh, record you have to assume that the life of a business can be divided into uh, several periods or several accounting periods Typically, one accounting period is one year. Let's say you start a business at 1st of April, then the accounting period will end at the 31st of March next year. So that is one year. Or you start a business at 1st of January. If you start a business uh, at 1st of January, then the end of the uh, accounting period is 31st of December so that is the typical accounting period which is one year if you have your own business uh, sometimes you want to close the account every month for your own purpose you want to know your business is making profit or not so you close your account every month or some businesses they close their account every three months because they want to know uh, their, the performance of their business every three months but uh, according to the law and regulation, a business has to uh, close its account at least once a year uh, to calculate the profit or loss and then later to pay taxes. Okay, that is the first one you have to, to, to know. Period, periodic reporting. The second one that you have to know is in accounting, we have two bases that we can use in during the recording process. First is called accrual uh, basis. The second one is called cash basis. If uh, according to the accounting standard, uh, only accrual basis accounting is acceptable. If you have your own business, when you do the accounting report, you have to use accrual basis when you want to, to, to show your financial statement to the regulators and uh, for the purpose of uh, tax collection or etc. But for your own purpose, uh, you can use uh, any basis. But for the regulation and law 
they ask you to use accrual basis of accounting. Accrual basis of accounting uh, means that when uh, you record all your revenues and expenses when the the transaction happen not when you receive cash or or pay cash yeah, the situation is like this let's say you have a business you have a laundry business today a customer come and you provide a laundry service to this customer you charge this customer uh, $100 but the customer will pay the 100 next month so if you use accrual basis accounting when is the time to to record the $100 revenue today or next month when the customer pay cash the answer is if you use accrual accounting you have to record the revenue today you record the revenue when it when the transaction happen not when you receive the cash or another example is uh, let's say you have uh, the you have the you are the owner of the laundry shop and then you have two workers the workers has worked this month the month of april but you will pay the salary uh, at 5th of may so when is the time to record the salary expense this month or next month the answer is when you use accrual accounting you have to record the expense when it happened which is this month not when you pay the salary so always remember when you use the uh, when you do the recording process you have to follow accrual basis and accrual basis means you record the revenue and expenses when they happen not when you pay the cash okay the next thing that you have to know before you can do the the step five of the accounting cycle which is uh, doing the adjusting entries is you have to know about the revenue recognition revenue revenue recognition is also uh, has a revenue recognition process uh, is something that uh, has a long explanation uh, to make it short uh, the revenue you have to you when you do the recording process you have to recognize or record the revenue when the the transaction happen or when goods are changing hand from the the hand of the seller to the hand of the buyer or if you have a service business you have to record or recognize the revenue when you when you have provided a service not when you receive cash from the customer sometimes you provide the service today but you will get the cash later so when is the time to record the revenue the, you record the revenue today because it happened today because you have provided the service today but sometimes you receive cash today the customer come and pay in advance the customer pay today but you will provide the service next month so when is the time to record the revenue from the service you have to record the revenue next month because the the service will be provided next month and it happened next month okay and number four things that you have to know before you can do the adjusting entry is you have to know about the matching principle matching principle says if you want to calculate profit for an accounting period you have to match the revenue in that period with 
expenses in that period only. For example, let's say you want to calculate profit for your business for the month of April. If you want to calculate profit for the month of April, the matching principle says the way to calculate the profit for the month of April is you have to show the revenue for the month of April and minus the expenses for the month of April only. You cannot add revenue from the month of May into the calculation. And also you cannot include the expenses from the month of May into the calculation. Okay, so uh, that is that are the four things that you have to know uh, before you can do the adjusting entries. This is the an exam, uh, this is an example of uh, comparison a comparison between actual basis accounting and cash cash basis accounting okay let's see uh, let's say uh, there is a business in year 2019, supposed to be year 2019. In year 2019, Bond Consulting bill its client for 48,000. On December 31st, 2019, it has received 41,000 with the remaining 7,000 to be received in 2020. Total expenses during 2019 were 31,000 with 3,000 of these costs not yet paid. At December 31st okay now the question asks you to calculate profit under both methods okay when a question asks you to, to calculate profit then you have to know to calculate profit the formula is very simple the formula is revenue minus expenses okay if you use cash basis accounting so if you use cash basis accounting you record the re revenue when you receive cash and you record the expenses when you pay cash so for this business under cash basis accounting the revenue is 41,000 only because in year 2019 the business uh, received 41,000 only from the customer and then the expenses according to cash basis accounting is 28,000 uh, which is the amount paid by the business so according to the cash basis accounting the profit is uh, 13,000 but if the business uses uh, accrual basis accounting, remember uh, under accrual basis accounting, you have to record the revenue and expenses when they happen. Okay, so according to the accrual basis accounting, the revenue equal to 48,000 because in the year 2019, the business has provided services and bill its client for 48,000 that's the thing that happened 48,000 that's the revenue according to equal basis accounting and the expenses according to this uh, equal basis accounting is 31,000 all expenses that happened in year 2019 were 31,000 so the profit and the accrual basis accounting is 17,000. Uh, so, why do you think uh, you have to use accrual basis accounting instead of cash basis accounting? The answer is, when 
uh, the accrual basis accounting shows what had happened to a business in one accounting period. In this example, the thing that happened to this business in year 2019. That is why you use accrual basis accounting. Uh, cash basis accounting is not very uh, useful because it only uh, shows uh, about cash receive or cash in and uh, cash payment only. Thank you very much. This is the end of the first half of the lecture. Uh, you can communicate with me uh, in the in the comment section. Bye bye.